right, let's take a look at big tech stocks to watch as we head into 2026. Joining us right now is Dom Rizzo. He is T. Rowe Price Portfolio Manager. And Dom, thanks for coming in today. Thanks for having me back. All here. right, before we start on this, you've got a pretty good record, and I'd like to point it out. You're the Portfolio Manager of the Global Technology Fund. And since you took over just over three years ago, the fund's up 34.1% annually. It's outperformed the benchmark by 13.3%. And lip repairs by 26.1% cumulatively. You also run the technology ETF, and that is outperforming its closest comp of the triple Qs. It was up 25.2% versus 22% for the triple Qs. You've got 10.9 billion of assets under management. I think that was as of September 30th. So welcome. You've got a good track record. Let's hear what you have to think about this. Um, where do you think we're heading in 2026? Look. You know, first off, on the track record, I'm very lucky. I have a great team around me, and T. Rowe gives us so many um, great resources and the platform to, to, be, to be able to outperform for our clients, which is our goal. But some of that's lucky timing, too, right? Started December 1st, 2022, the day after ChatGPT. But I think we have a <laughs> good framework, linchpin technologies, innovating in secular growth markets with improving fundamentals at reasonable valuations. And we can use that to navigate all different markets responsibly for our clients. The numbers have gotten a lot bigger since you stepped into this. You want to walk us through that? Yeah, just let's look at the AI chip market, right? It was $45 billion in 2023. We think it's going to $500 billion in 2028 and upwards of a trillion dollars in 2030. And if you take a step back and think about those numbers, the entire semiconductor market pre chat GBT was only $500 billion. So we've seen a real acceleration in the capital intensity of the hyperscalers as we've unlocked all these new revenue growth drivers for these companies. What, what gets in the way of growing to the moon? What, what could trip things up? Well, I think there's, you know, the most common question I get on those numbers, right, is how, how do we pay for all this? Right. And I, I actually think there's plenty of dollars to go around. You know, you look at the core hyperscalers business, they're accelerating. Search, which is under assault by ChatGPT, grew 15% year over year last quarter with Google. Meta is growing mid 20s. All of the hyperscalers cloud businesses are accelerating. Uh, and then we have the fastest growing privates in the world, right? We have OpenAI on a path to nearly 20 billion of ARR this year. We have Anthropic in a high single digit billion ARR this year. But what, what trips us more up is what always trips us up in productivity cycles is the capital markets, mm. right? This is all reflexive. If the capital markets really remain open, I think we see continued spending. If they close for some external shock, then we could see a slowdown. But, but this is a fundamental acceleration in the core businesses of the most profitable companies in existence.